Miranda, and I'm currently in my hometown of San Diego, California. After trying food from around the world, I thought it was time to do a food tour in my own backyard. San Diego is known for having great Mexican food thanks to its proximity to the border. That is why today I will be trying some of the most well-known taco shops in the city. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is good. Hello and welcome to our taco tour of San Diego. Today we want to hit a lot of the big name taco shops in San Diego to test how good they are. And we are starting with probably the most famous, Tacos El Gordo. Tacos El Gordo is famous for their carne asada tacos. I would say that the carne asada taco is probably the famous San Diego taco, which might be why they're so big and famous because of the carne asada. They're also famous for the adobada taco. And as you can see, my mom is on our taco tour, so we are all going to be trying the tacos. Mm. They're very generous with the guacamole. Very, very good. And it has a bit of a spice too. Oh, it's good. The meat is very good. Very, very flavorful. Sometimes it's like overcooked in some areas. No, this is marinated looks really good. Okay. Now can uh -huh. I eat? Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna try the adobada taco. So adobada is a uh, marinated pork. Yeah, even the tortilla with it, the texture of the pork is just it's really crispy and cooked to perfection. No wonder it's worth the hype here. My mom also got her favorite drink. Can you tell us what you drink? Um, it's like a orange drink but it's whipped it's not like a fountain drink it's almost like between a fountain with milk or milkshake it's kind of in between the two but it's my favorite the next place we went to was called Eki es Texcoco their restaurant is made after the barbecue style that they cook in Texcoco Mexico how they cook their barbecue usually is they dig up an underground pit and they cook it in there and they leave it overnight so um, they don't do that exactly here, but they perfected an oven. They have an oven where they can specialize that and they can um, kind of duplicate it, how they do that barbecue the best way they can. And the three tacos that I got here, they're all made from lamb. Um, one is from the belly, uh, another one's part of the ribs of the lamb, and then the last one is a unique one, um, is from the head. So we're gonna try that out now. I add in some lime and I'm adding some onions and cilantro. And we have no idea which one is which. So I don't know which one I'm going to take a bite out of right now. We're going to make a fun game and <clears throat> guess which meat it is. Yeah, now we'll just get to guess which one is which. Does it taste like pork or lamb? I'm going to guess lamb. Which part? Face or face or ribs? I'm gonna say ribs for this one, <laughs> but I have no idea. Dan is going to try this same one, and he'll tell you what he thinks it is. I'm gonna guess which one it is. So we added this dark red sauce onto it. Tastes really really good. My guess is gonna be the ribs because it's very tender. So I'm really excited to try the tortillas. They are not the traditional type of corn tortillas that we usually have. Um, they kind of just warm them up. These are grilled. And when we first got them, it reminded me of a grilled cheese sandwich. But it is a corn tortilla. It looks really yummy. So I believe there's already some of the mole sauce in here. So let me try a bite. Can you guess, is it ribs or is it head? I don't know, it's very tender. Uh, good flavor and not overpowering flavor. What I find most interesting about this place is that the sauces they give you are different sauces. They actually give you mole sauce, as my mom mentioned earlier, but in San Diego, we're used to them giving you the red sauce and the green sauce. So having mole sauce for tacos, I think is unique. So I'm excited to try it. It 
It's good. My guess is also the head for this. I think this one's lamb head. It too. What do you guys think? Could I be. thought so too. What I really liked about this place is that it wasn't traditional San Diegan tacos. It came from Texacoco. So their tacos Texacoco style, which are so different. And I really liked being able to try something that's not like San Diegan, something that's different. And I liked learning about the history that Jan was telling us about. It's more of a cultural experience, I think, and I really enjoyed it. But now we will see you at the next place, which will be in North Park. We just got our food from Lucha Libre. They are famous for the surf and turf taco and also the California burrito. Since this is a taco tour, we are going to stick to the taco. So we got the surf and turf taco. They are also famous for their aesthetic. They have it decorated around Mexican wrestling, which is really cool. But obviously because of COVID, we can't eat in there. So we're eating outside. Their tacos are also huge. They're so big. The surf and turf taco has avocado, carne asada, shrimp, and their special chipotle sauce. Their chipotle sauce is really good. Somebody try it. It's very good. To me, it doesn't even taste like a taco. It's so different. So it's fun to have something that's different. The sauce, that chipotle sauce is so warm. Next we have the Auto Haba Taco. It has habanero sauce and pineapple sauce with uh, auto bata uh, pork meat and as well as sour cream. And they top it off with a grilled pineapple. This is huge. It's definitely warm. It tastes sweet. And you're getting that little after kick too. It's really, really good. Oh my gosh, that is good. That is so good. The last place we went to is called City Tacos. They have a wide range of tacos that they have and it's considered one of the best taco places, taquerias in all of San Diego. The ones that we got was this chili con queso. So it's like a deep fried um, chili with like cheese inside it. And then the other thing we got was a Mexicali taco. So I'm gonna try the Mexicali one. Mm. Mm. It's really, really good. The cotija cheese, very, very creamy. This taco is a little bit different from the ones we, we've eaten today because these come in flour tortillas. So it has a little bit of different flavor with the flour. But overall, it's really, really good. I am now going to try the chili relleno one, which I'm excited about because it's vegetarian. And you probably don't believe me because in these videos I'm always eating meat, but I actually eat meat pretty much only when we make these videos. <laughs> So it's nice to be able to have this vegetarian option. I love it. This one is really, really good because it's fresh. It has more of a refreshing feeling, which is nice when you've been eating tacos all day. <laughs> that wraps up our taco tour. It was really good. I really enjoyed all the different places because they were all so different. If you live in San Diego or you're planning on visiting San Diego and you're wondering what taco shops you should try, I hope this video was helpful for you. I'll see you on the next adventure.